Hello everyone. I'm Junya Hayashida from Kyushu University. Today, I'd like to talk about consistent cell tracking in multi-frames with spatio-temporal context by object-level warping loss. Cell tracking is an essential task in biomedical image analysis for time-lapse images. Hundreds of cells in a population are individually tracked over thousands of frames like this video. This is an example of two cells in close contact at frame T-1 and frame T. You might think of the central cell as a single cell. But, it not single. It consists of two cells like ground truth. It is difficult to correctly identify cells with only two frames even for human. In this situation, human observe the multiple frames to identify cell. For example, we can easily detect two cells at frame T-3 and T-2. If we can detect two cells, we can estimate next frame cell position by tracking. Finally, we can guess there are two cells at frame T-1 and T using spatial temporal context. Therefore, spatial temporal context in multi-frames is important to address such difficulties in cell tracking. Tracking by detection is one of the most common approaches to multi-object tracking. A recent trend is to incorporate existing bounding box-based detectors into trackers and simultaneously train a detector and tracker. However, these approaches do not use the spatial context outside from the bounding boxes. Since cells have similar appearances and their shapes change during the migration, the context outside the bounding box is important. To effectively use the spatial context, point-based methods such as center track for detection and motion estimation recently have attracted attention. However, these methods only use two frames to extract spatial-temporal context. That is not enough to effectively use spatial-temporal context. In this paper, we propose a cell tracking method that can effectively use the long-term spatial-temporal context in multiple frames. To use long-term spatial-temporal context, we proposed long-term motion estimation and object-level warping loss. Our network is 3D CNN and estimate motion and position map for every frame. We represent cell position by heat map. And, we jointly estimate short-term motion for each cell. Long-term context is not always used for short-term motion estimation. Thus, this is not enough to effectively use the long-term information. To extract spatial temporal context in multi frames, we estimate long term motion in addition to short term. Long term motion is not directly used for tracking but it helps the network to extract long term context. In this estimation, sometimes inconsistencies may occur by gap or false negative or switching. Object level warping loss penalizes these inconsistencies. First, the estimation result at T-1 is warping from T-1 to T by using estimated motion. Then, MSE is calculated between warped result and estimation result. In this example, the cell is detected at frame T-1, but it is not detected at frame T. This is a false negative. Then the warping loss penalizes non-detected cells. If the estimation results have a gap between frames, the results also penalize like this figure. The switching problem is also can be solved by warping loss. This is tracking results of our method on various conditions. Our result looks accurately tracked cell. This is a quantitative evaluation result. As you can see, our method outperforms state-of-the-art methods on target effectiveness. Here is summary. We propose cell tracking method by effectively use multi-frames context by using long-term estimation and object-level warping loss. We demonstrate our method effectiveness on public biological dataset and achieve state-of-the-art method. Thank you for watching.